And welcome back. We're here at TXP3. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias. I'm joined by Zarin. How you doing, Zarin? Uh, doing well. Uh, been a fun morning already. A couple matches under the books down in the loser's bracket. And of course, uh, one match on stream so far. A banger first yeah. two maps, at the very least. You guys were blessed to be able to uh, watch <laughs> that, uh, especially to kick off the day. Um, that, that series is really going to dictate the rest of Sunday. So a uh, very exciting day ahead of us. We got the winner's finals already. Uh, coming up here in just a minute. Nobility Rising going up against Pulsive. These two teams first coming out of their pools uh, into the winner's bracket. They have ran through pretty much everybody that they have played. So both teams look very good. Looking to punch their ticket into the grand finals as we see those four, those four teams down in the loser's bracket trying to slowly creep their way up. And you really can't say one team has it over the other here as they both went 3-0 in their previous games. And over... No, no, like easy teams either. They're nothing to sneeze at. They're there in the winners' rounds, doing really, really well, and they still managed to go 3-0 against their opponents. So this is going to be a battle of the giants. If that last game was close, I can't imagine this one not going to a map four or five. Oh, 100%. And on the side of Nobility, Chaco has been gunning all day today. He had a fantastic <laughs> series just uh, on stream just a few moments ago. Looking to build on that as Nobility trying to kick things off, punch their ticket into the Grand Finals. But will Pulsive have an answer? Here we go. Here we are, starting off the hard point with a big grenade. Choco starting things off hot. And now in the corner already, Khan, we're going to find another. Driz on the point will get taken down. Chaco off to a good start again. Two and one for him. Bowie now sitting on the time. Going to be the last one remaining as Risky starting to lurk around mid. Almost gets to turn and burn. But Conway there for support. Sitting in the corner. Needs to reload. Three go down. Nobility with a fantastic start here. As you see the likes of God Bowser trying to pick up these players any way he can towards P1 as the rotations start to come in with 20 seconds left to go. That's one. Can't find the other. It's trades back in left and right here. Nobility, though, holding strong on this hard one all the way to the end. Now, beginning it all, but now Pulse just runs through, gets triple kill on the team as a whole. Now the hard point is going to flip. It looks like Pulse is in control of both of these here. Yeah, I mean, you see the break come on through. That allows Pulsive to work up the right side of the map as well. So you see them just shift back, guarantee those spawns towards back P4. And now they have complete control of mid-map. We see player number three. That's going to be Chaco on a huge pinch, just trying to stay alive, play for any sort of info. Rispy gets the opening blood, though. So now down in numbers is Nobility. Conway, last one alive, able to take out one, but has two players surrounding him, stays alive even longer, gets one before he dies, too. So that's going to allow his teammates to catch up just a little bit. However, Pulsive still in control of P2, looking to close that gap. Yeah, we're going to close this one down. A very, very close gap. They can do it very quickly. But now Choco getting a double kill is going to try and flip things, but doesn't quite go. He needs his teammates to back it up, but they keep getting gunned down by the team of Pulsive there. Driz finding that last kill. Checking grenades on the site. Not going to do all too much with that trophy system there. Now Conla trying to keep it up, but that's not going to be enough against Wisers and Lunar there go down there. Kanwa just going absolutely insane here, finding pick after pick. And it, honestly, the X factor for ba for Nobility right now is Bowie. Uh, he's he's always that uh, underappreciated player on this roster. These three have been playing together for so long. Um, and, and we've seen Bowie be able to take over games already this weekend. So we'll look to him to start improving as this series goes along. But right now, Pulsive in control. They still find themselves down, but they have dictated the pace of this game after P1. They're in control here, but Pulsive is still just absolutely shutting out the rest of this map. They have every angle covered. And now they're about to stretch potentially into the lead here on this hard point. Risky going for kills, finds two with his teammate, but Ropey gonna, Risky gonna find one there, but Driz gonna stand strong on the defense. It's very back and forth so far. Picks going left, right, and center. I mean, look at that, but it's RSPI there, holding strong on the hard point, getting them into the lead there. Yeah, that's a really good hill at Impulsive. They don't get a lot of time, but they get 20, 30 seconds or so, and, that'll, and they most importantly maintain control of the bottom side of the map. You see them already set up for few four for P4, but here comes a three hit towards the back. Driz is going to drop, so that's going to open up the back. Player's got to turn around now. Three on three towards his new point. Rispy going to get tagged up down to 31 HP. Now, a 4v4 towards the back of this point. This is going to get absolutely chaotic. Bowie opens with a first blood. Risky follows him up. Three go down. One player remaining. It's going to be Rispy. Back music. Able to grab one. Looking for that second player too. Kanma seeking him out desperately. Finally, Bowie cleans him up. 
and no ability for now will take control of the point. Yeah, you control the point, but it's just so chaotic here. People keep flipping back and forth, but Nobility needs this time. Even though there's only 20 seconds left, that's enough to get them close to evening the scoreline here. They're going to hold this one all the way to the end. Riz going to get a trade there with Bowie, but Wiser's going to get a kill as well. Just Pulse of being so aggressive here and able to win out these gunfights time and time again. Yeah, I mean, Nobility's done a good job of breaking these points, but for the most part, Pulsive has controlled the majority of this uh, game as far as map control is concerned. And you see already, rotated to new once again. That's the fourth time in a row as we head into P5. They start to build on this lead just a little bit, 20 plus points as Risky trying to work the back. Gonna pull out that AR for this, for this hill too. Struggling in this game just a little bit, but perhaps this is his opportunity to regain and refocus as they try to break this point. But three go down once again for Pulsive. Make it four and control retained yet again. Yeah, they're retaining it once again. Coaching on this site here. We're following Conwa. He needs to find a pick, but he gets taken out by Looney. And now Looney gets a double. RSP gonna get one on the side of Bowie there. And Shoko gonna find one on the back line, but not for long. As Pulsive is just in complete control of the map right now. Nobility not able to find any footing here, any way to approach even the next head point. It's a hard point. They can't even set up. And Wiser's just laying on the aggression there with kill after kill. Yeah, 141 to 83 here, back towards P1 here for the second rotation. Rispy trying to get that child, but Conwa, good kill out of him. 20 and 9 from him, carrying the weight big time in this game, but it, he finds his team down 60 points, give or take, as Wisers breaks on through. Look for that lurking player in Conwa. He should be shut down here any second, but Conwa actually able to get first shots in and takes him out, so Driz put in a bad situation towards back mid. Great break from Nobility, all thanks to Conwa working that bottom side of the map. Conwa doing a lot of work here, but one man is going to have a tough time against an entire team. Pulse of still in control of this hard point, but Nobility is making good progress here to maybe break this one. Wow! There's not much time left. I mean, look at that gunplay on the side of Nobility. Bowie with the turn and burn. Great shots out of him, but it won't matter though. Pulse of breaks in to the point. Eight seconds left though, and you see Nobility on the bottom side of your mini map already in control of P2, but not a lot of map presence here as it's gonna be Driz picking up two, looking for that third player. Gonna chase him on now, picks up the third as well. So Driz with three huge kills and just like that, all the control of P2 gone for Nobility. Kano trying to sneak through, but that presence in mid, that's gonna be God Bowser taking him down. Risky trying to work this bottom side. He's all alone though, so he's gotta wait for his teammates to work the middle of the map. Kano grabs one, looking for that second, but the SMG not able to win that long range gunfight. And Risky trying to battle it out towards the point. So no ability back and forth here, trying to get as much time as they can on P2. They're making good time here. They need to start getting a lot of these longer points like this if they want to make a comeback here. Now they've closed the gap by quite a bit, but it's still going to be a tough ask with all the pulse of flooding in, contesting it, trying to flip the point at the last second. Joko going in, Conwa getting one as well. Driz getting trades back and fourth it is absolute chaos here neither team really winning in terms of kills right now but i think nobility is now starting to get those that, that gunfight prowess back yeah that's a big loss for risky he needed to stay alive for as long as possible there you see this great setup from pulsive the crossfire so good looking for two can get can't get the third so choco does go through that's gonna allow risky to move up the front try to play the time but you see that one player number eight driz spawning out behind and wow, Pulsive holds strong, but a great hold in the back, honestly. They were able to get the crossfire in, and Choco just left by himself. They control P3 right now, looking to move towards P4-2 here. 26 seconds left to go. Conwa working to mid, able to get one. So, so good so far in this game, 27 and 17. Risky trying to break P1 basically by himself to get some sort of control, and they finally do. Yeah, we're seeing some nice control finally flip over, but Nobility always does it just a little bit too late. They can't get those big time chunks once they're in control. They just get the trash time, and Looney getting a double kill is going to be a big thorn in their side, and now they're going to have to cross the entire map to maybe get to this hard point here. Pulse of potentially able to win this one right here, unless we see a contest come through, and we will as three on Pulse of fall down. And Nobility rising, rising to the occasion and flooding in on the site. Yeah. Impulsive 30 points away from taking game one. And what 
is a very lopsided game one so far. Not expected here for this series, but you see the likes of Bowie and Risky struggling here on Vista Hardpoint. Conwa trying to get the trade, but that's God Bowser with two. He's just going to slide through the point, seek out this player, Choco, and he's going to get taken down as well. So that's going to be a three streak now for God Bowser. Make it four as now Pulsive slowly creeping their way up. They can't win off of this point now, but you see nobility set up for new. They're going to have to be darn near perfect if they want to come back and win the game one. Yeah, it's going to be very, very close here. They need to start getting this next hard point right out of the gate, and they're already set up to do so, so they should have a little bit of time here, a little bit of wiggle room, but they need to hold this one all the way to the end. They cannot afford to give this one up for nine seconds. That's all it's going to take for Pulsive to win this. Nine seconds needed. And time counting. to ling down. Rispy grabs one, that's gonna do it. It's gonna be Pulsive with a very convincing map one win. They have looked fantastic this weekend. Yeah, Almost perfect. Th that was a very clean win. Of course, you know, these teams are gonna get better and better, but that was not down to the wire for them at all. They had a secure 100 point lead over their opponents there by the end of it. It was very back and forth, the gunplay very, very competitive, but Pulsive was just able to control the engagements time and time again. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, again, all, we've seen this a lot. No real like pop-offs. I mean, Wiser's had a very good map, Rispy as well, but just an all-around team effort for Pulsive gets the job done as, you know, you would have expected Nobility to be a little bit hotter coming into this after such a tight series that they had. Even though it was a 3-0, I mean, there's a lot of momentum builders there, a close hard point, a close S&D. Um, big, big wins they were able to find in the clutch. Unfortunately, not able to do so here in game number one in the winner's finals. Um, you are guaranteed top three at the very least. However, you want to get to the grand finals through the winner's bracket. So you don't, you only got to win one best of five through the winners. So um, ideally, you want to see Nobility bounce back if you're the Orc owner or uh, a fan of, or, or whatnot. So mm -hmm. uh, going towards game two, uh, they're going to have to step it up again. Yeah, it's going to be really tough. I feel like Nobility in that last uh, series really banked on some insane plays, some really risky plays, but yeah. now they re can't afford to do that, do that against Pulsive. And it's really tough when you play a lot around those riskier plays or uh, more gambit type of moves that are that are planned you know not bad like oh let's just run at it but yeah it's, it's gonna be very tough because pulsive is so calculated and so patient and they're willing to do those plays as well and it's, it's just hard to keep up 100 percent. i mean they they look like a very well practiced team um despite i don't know that they actually did practice a lot coming up to this event <laughs> they obviously are very familiar with each other um and have played with each other in the past but Right now, overall, they just look very well polished, as you said. Nobility going to have to do the same. You would think with the with this core three that they have uh, in this roster um, that they would be a little bit more polished, but perhaps Vista, not necessarily one of their strong maps. And, of course, Risky and Bowie just just struggling in that game. Unfortunately, uh, not enough for, for Nobility to steal game one. But a search and destroy on Karachi coming up next, so we'll see what happens Ooh, here. Yeah, Karachi, always an interesting map to watch. We see it so much. We love it. We hate it. And I'm excited to see how it shapes up. S&D also, very interesting map to play on as well. It's yeah. going to be an absolutely great match to watch. And, you know, S&D is always the upset game mode, so Nobility Rising will be able to potentially flip this one around for themselves. Yep, starting on the offensive side, you see Conwa lurking over towards B, but Pulsive actually playing this really well. They're very aggressive up towards the middle of the map. Wiser's actually able to catch one and catch two. And just like that, 2v4. Disadvantage for Nobility. Risky gets shut down as well. Good peek from Drizz and Conwa lurking towards the B site. Does have a lot of time, but not even able to get one. Convincing round one, one, round one win from Pulsive. Yeah, very decisive win as well. I mean, Nobility Rising, like I said, they go for those gambit plays. They went very aggressive, but it just did not pay off. You know, you lost that bet double time because you lost two members right off the bat, and then it's really hard to pick it up from there. Absolutely, and off offense, not necessarily the favorite side here on Karachi, or Search and Destroy in general, but, you know, if you're Nobility, you want to get something going early on in this game. So we'll see what they can do on the defensive side. Pulsive leaning towards the A site. Very similar look, actually, for Pulsive uh, 
in comparison to nobility there in round one. One lurking towards the B side. Rispy gets fir first blood though. So now they're gonna break on through to A. Getting caught out on the cross, somehow stays alive. Risky gonna get caught out again, but from top Ooh. fire will get taken down. That's a huge kill and another 2v4 situation for Nobility to try to clutch up. And bombs down 2v4. Things are looking dire. They need to move quick. And now, wow, one, none. <laughs> That's gonna be it for that round. And now Pulsive looking so clean. You can see the players are just absolutely dialed in. They're yeah. locked in, they're relaxed. They're just in that flow state. And once you're in that flow state, it's really hard to snap them out of it. They're 2-0 right now, and Ability Rising needs to win this next one. Maybe maybe not to go for those risky plays, but you know, expect the unexpected as well. It's going to be very tough for them. Yeah, I, I, I got to think, I mean, again, we're two rounds in, but with the way the game is flowing right now, you got to think Nobility needs to win one of these next two rounds to keep themselves in this game too. Because right now, Pulsive are just controlling everything. Nobody has died on the side of Pulsive. We are two rounds in, and no one has died. Zero wow. kills for Nobility Rising in map number two here on Karachi. Now on the offensive side, trying to work the A site. They do get through, so Bomb is going to go down. It's going to be a 4v4. You see God Bowser, Deep Cafe, just trying to stay up. Get some shots into Risky. Can't finish the kill. Nobility still searching for their first. Bowser on the outside, tags up one. Knows that player is trapped, crosses back as Risky. But Risky on the other side, able to get one back. Wisers as well. 2v4 yet again for Nobility to try to retake. Nobility can potentially retake this one. They get a few kills, but it's not going to be enough. It's a still a 2v1. It's all down to Choco with time ticking. He just needs to play this one perfectly. He's up on the rooftops. He finds one, though he needs to find another. And he Ooh. does! He gets the first win for Nobility Rising. Wow, great clutch from Choco. And again, we talked about him before uh, this series started. He's been playing so well all weekend, and specifically today. So that's a huge clutch and a very necessary round for Nobility to keep Pulsive at bay right now. Um, you don't want to go down 0-2 in the series, but you know specifically for this game, going down 0-3, that's a that's a big hill to climb. Yeah, 0-3 is a near impossible hill to climb, but now things are looking all right. You get down two in S and D eventually. You just need to get those two right back now. Mobility Rising can hopefully get their momentum rising as well. They're moving through the middle of the map, trying to meet this push by Pulse of going all aggro. They get bombed down. That's going to be a good pick right there. They lose one for two. It's a good trade. It's a 2v3 situation. Or it's 2v2, actually. My bad. And now, up on the rooftops, they need to get this bomb back. Yeah, good battle towards mid. Gun fights back and forth, 2v2, so at least Nobility gives themselves a chance. But as I say that, Risky gets caught out trying to work the pinch in low pillars. Choco tags up one, looking for that second. There comes the help. Pulsive with their third round on the board. Choco can't get it done for the second round in a row in a 1v2. And, well, Pulsive take their two-round lead back. You see, some laughs, some giggles, some... Uh, some calmness on Pulsive. They look, like you said, absolutely dialed in. So a third round on the board. Looking to improve on that. They're going to have defensive side next. Yeah, that's what that round advantage gives you. It gives you some levity. gives you some... Uh, some uh, <laughs> doesn't make you feel like your back's up against the wall. You can still have some wiggle room to try some plays out, play a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more relaxed. But still, they have that cushion to fall back on. Nobility, though, has no cushion to fall back on. They need to go full forward here, put it into high gear, and try and drive this one home. But Trace going to drive home Conwa there. Right now, it's the story of the first bloods. Pulsive has gotten first blood every round. And they've been able to win three out of four. Choco does get one back, though. So Wiser's caught out. Not really expecting that player back junk. And that's going to open up the map. Because the complete right side of the map. But Bowie able to battle with two players. Does get one before dropping. But yet again, third straight round. Choco in a 1v2. In a 1v2 situation. Once again, Choco always seems to be the last one standing here on the side of Nobility Rising. Can he clutch it up once again? He needs this bomb. He's making the trek through no man's land right now. He needs to try and pick this one up. Checking the ground, picking it slowly, carefully. But Pulsive is nowhere near to be yeah. seen. They're in the middle of the map just waiting for wherever it gets planted. I don't even know if they knew Palm was down. Not going to play that defensive play. They're going to try and play for the reactive play. Yeah, they definitely did not know Bomb was down, but Choco takes so much time expecting them to know where Bomb is, and it won't matter. Choco drops, Pulse of win, 4-1 now. 
and uh, they just look absolutely dominant in an S&D, and that was expected going into this weekend uh, for this team. But uh, yeah, they're answering the bell for sure. 4 1 now. Yeah, this is an absolutely insane turn of events. After such an amazing game, Nobility Rising had, sure, it was close at times, but they were just on top. They had their hero moments, and now things are looking pretty dire here. They're down by a lot of points. They need to have four sequential hero moments here to be able to get themselves in the lead here. Yep. See. They can answer back. This is going to be the big swing round now for Nobility Rising. As Rispy, aggressive, so aggressive towards the middle of the map. Player caught out top yellow. Nothing spotted out yet. Chaco just trying to stay alive. He's got three players shooting at him, so that's information gained for the side of Pulse. We see Rispy. We'll sneak that player up. Bowie dies in the back. Looking for that second player. It's Risky, top yellow again. We'll get the stun. So he does have info, but he doesn't know that there's a second player back here. And really no help around him. 3v3, they got 50 seconds left to work for Pulsive to get this bomb down. Rispy in not a great position with the help of his teammates on the opposite side of the map. 40 seconds to go. 40 seconds time is ticking for Pulsive. They need to make a move in quick, and they do. Driz finds one. It is a 2v3 oh, man. situation. Oh, man. Wow. R RSBI on an absolute tear right now. Risky last one alive and not for long though. It's Pulsive getting the win and now I believe they are on the point for this game. Yeah, that was an interesting split uh, decision there from Pulsive. They sent two players towards the B bomb site and Risky playing alone with bomb towards A. Um, I thought he was not... I don't think it would have even mattered if that player rotated over towards A. He would have got bombed down and then two players coming from the opposite side, but it ended up working out. He got that, uh, he caught Risky off of rotation running through Diner, trying to get to bottom church to run towards B, but uh, able to cut him down. So it didn't matter. Put Chaco in a, another 1v3 and uh, put themselves on map points. So now 5-1, Pulsive looking to take a commanding 2-0 series lead. Looking to take this one all the way to the end here. We're going to go in through this hallway. They're moving through the buildings. They don't want to take these exterior routes anymore. Going to climb through the ladder. Play very, very carefully. Going to go in here. Got to take it carefully, especially if you're loony. But it doesn't matter. He's got his teammate here. He's moving in like a riot team, shutting everything down. And now Finds one. Bowie. Gonna find a big pick there. Can he find two? No. Looney shuts that one down as well. It's a 2v3. And now Pulsive Just putting the bomb. bomb down. That's it. Is going to be. Wait, is that the yeah, it's defuse? defuse? It's defuse. Oh my gosh. Dude, I had it backwards with how aggressive they were playing. I thought they were on attack wow. for a second. Wow. And that's it. Yeah. That's going to be Pulsive taking this one too. Oh. They still need to win one more. That's a major lead in the series. And after what Nobility showcased us in the last round, this is. A bit of an upset. Yeah. Uh, Rispy, you see, getting loud. I mean, it, Nobility just not looking like themselves at all. Um, complete control by Pulsive. Just hopped the bomb. I mean, they, they kept things simple, and I think that was uh, the main struggle for Nobility is that they just, uh, you know, they try to do a little bit too much. Uh, and, you know, you do go down by a lot of rounds in s and It is much more difficult uh, to play a, a team structure. So you do get a little bit desperate. You make some uh, unnecessary plays, let's say, and I think that was the killer for Nobility. Now they find themselves down 0-2 in this series. Not a lot going for them right now. Yeah. So what advice would you give them if you had to try and play from that position? Well, I've seen I've seen Conwa and Choco here, uh, specifically at the St. Clair facility, uh, playing challengers last year. They came. Uh, they were down 0-2 to like the third seed of the tournament. They came back and won. Uh, in game five so they have that ice in them I know those two specifically they got to be the backbone of this team if they want to rally here they will have uh, another opportunity in losers bracket but this series is far from over Th this team is more than capable of coming back and winning uh, against uh, the likes of uh, Pulsive so honestly it's just stay calm reset the series is at zero zero and go from there Exactly. You got to try and keep yourself locked in, make your potentially last stand here, your final battle here on this control point for your tournament life here, your series life, at least in the winner's bracket here. So 
It's going to be a very crazy control game. I'm excited to see what happens, but we're going to throw it to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with more TXP3.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third game here of Nobility Rising versus Pulse of this one. Should be an absolute banger here, as we're here already making a big move on this B point. I mean, Nobility Rising has already played this control map and played it with absolute precision last we saw. But wow, a big nade from Driz kills a teammate and Kanwa. Yeah, Nobility down 0-2, so they got to get to work and get to work fast, and that's exactly what they're doing. Wiser's able to get one, but that's going to be a quick B cap for the side of Nobility. So it's going to give themselves well over two minutes to try to get A. You see only a couple lives dwindled down, but big kills there from Nobility. to able to get that B point. Now so much time as Conwa able to get a big one too. Now he can get pushed up inside of Laundry and in rugs just to disrupt the spawners coming from Pulse. If you see Bowie and company trying to work the left side, Choco able to grab one before dropping. As Driz will finally clean him up. Conway able to get in. Risky doing work on A. Able to get one. Conway looking for two. He does. Here we go. Four straight for him. Risky trying to stay alive on the A point. Trying to get at least a tick down. Able to spot one out. It will tag him up and take him out too, but he's all alone. You see three players from the side of Pulse starting to surround him. Yeah, he got one tick on the board there, but that A site is always so tough to cap last. You know, sometimes you even want to go B two quarter, two thirds of the way just to keep that threat up and keep them on their toes because you're just going for that A site. They know where you're coming from. There's only like three lanes there. And as you can see, Pulse of it is like a sentry turret right now, just picking them off one after another. Like you said, taking them out when they need to, but Bowie with a good opening kill towards the spawn. So now the pressure towards B Street for Nobility. I mean, Ch Choco dies in the back, not super significant as you see the map control right now from Nobility and Pulse of just playing on their heels. They got to play one wave, then start working off the map. That's a good side uh, for Pulse of, They relieve a little bit of that pressure. Now you see play number seven, God Bowser working up the right side, trying to control any points of mid. And well, it's going to be a bit of a stalemate here for a few seconds as uh, each team tr spawning up, trying to catch up towards the middle of the map. So the map is uh, where the X marks the spot in there. Gets on A, but instantly falls down. Only a minute or so remaining here on the side of Ability Rising to try and secure this one. Trying to crawl across no man's land here. He needs to find a pick, and he needs to find one soon. As time is ticking, his team is not doing too hot on lives, on positioning, or anything above. Now, I don't know what the game plan is. They've been pushed back to their spawn. Yeah, it was, good. it was a good wave of kills there for Pulse. It pushes them all the way back. They move up the map and force them to go down the right side. And with 25 seconds left to work with, you know, you got you to start moving towards the A point. Not going to really happen here as Pulsive have complete control. You see six on the other side, Wisers with control on the left side. And, well, they're not going to be able to get to the point, but not a bad start here for Nobility. You I mean, you get four ticks on the board. That's always a good sign as you want to play for that defensive round in round number five. So not, uh, not the worst case scenario for Nobility, but best case scenario for Pulsive as they take round number one. Yeah, not the worst case indeed. They won that one with lives as well. That's going to be going forward if this one does get... That's going to be useful going forward if this one does get close. But Wisers just absolutely tearing through this team. Everybody on Pulse of just getting so many key kills. Yeah, I mean, they look super comfortable right now. And, and we noticed that in game one. And all, basically all the way through game number two, they are just shooting a lot straighter right now. It seems like uh, Nobility have been playing a bit on their heels, but can't discredit the efforts of Pulsive as they have just looked very, very good. And, and we'll talk about them, I'm sure, after this series, but still lots of time for Nobility as they uh, down 1-0, but now on defense, trying to make something happen, tie this one up. Yeah, they need to tie this one up and they need to do it soon. You don't you want to try and get your, your momentum back here. And there it is. Maybe that's the first step there. You get a nice double. Risky grabs one, looking for that second to get some shot to him, but can't finish the kill. So, God Bowser stays alive inside of Broken. Gonna get chased out though, grabs one. Feels the pressure all around him. Almost gets the turn and burn onto Bowie, but finishes off the kill. And now Driz and Co. trying to still work towards B. One minute down on the timer. Bowie caught off guard. That's gonna be a risky going down. Top broken, but Conway gets one back, and that's gonna leave Bowser by himself. 
Yeah, they're so close here. Doing an amazing job on the defense. Only one more minute. That's all they have to withstand. But now, look at it. Looks like Pulsive is going all in on this B site. They need oh to get it. Need to get it soon. Conwan needed the double kill there, but Driz going to shut him down. Still up top. Risky going to be the turret here, defending everything going on over on the B site. Looks like Pulsive just full sending this one. Risking all their lives. They're down four lives now. And it's going to be a close one. They need to try and cap it. There's two ticks. Just one more stand between them and another minute and a half of time. Risky battling. So close to capping B. And they finally do. Oh, not quite yet. But now there comes the cap. And they're going to give themselves about a minute 40 to try to get into the base of nobility. Driz caught out with the gun up. Choco with the big one towards blue. So now the focus turns towards the middle of the map. You see two players for Pulsive. Trying to get any sort of info they can. They do get two, but two gets traded back. So it's just going to be a battle for the battle of mid. And a 1v1 now, as it's going to be Bowie. And I believe that's going to be Driz. The last one's remaining towards Cafe. Yeah, Driz in a really tough spot right now. Can't really peek out, but he has a good cross on the enemy team. Bowie just absolutely tearing through the back line of nobility right now. <laughs> he is nobility right now, tearing through the back line of Pulsive. Luna gonna find another, Choco finding one right back. Choco finding a double, it's gonna be massive. Putting a lot of time off the board here. And now, Pulsive only has 10 lines left. They have to start being a little bit more choosy here. Yeah, big two from Choco towards mid. And now again, it forces those players to, uh, from Pulsive to spawn all the way towards Ice Cream. But Wiser's actually opens up the middle of the map. So now Conwa's gonna have to retreat. Has a battle in mid, big win there from him. And the two players spawning so deep in gas have their work cut out for them. It's a 3v2 towards A. Pulsive have an opportunity to move now. If they get that opening blood, they do. Kanoa gets one, but now they need to turn their attention back towards mid. As you see, Bowie pushed up in A. That's going to relieve the pressure. But now, a 4v3 towards a point. Driz with a huge opener once again. You see Bowser on the opposite side. Driz getting caught out on the cross, but stays alive. Kanoa drops. Another player outside of laundry. Risky, able to grab one. who struggled so far in this game. Will finally go down it's up to bowser to get to the point five seconds left one battle on time bowie wins that one with the help of conwa and it's gonna be put nobility with a solid a little bit tight but solid defensive round win a little bit tight, but that was definitely, I would say it was even more solid than pulse of de defense there. They held them off of that D site for quite a while. Didn't have to rely on that last second A play for too, too long. And they just played a very clean defense there. Very clean defense indeed, and you know they got they got necessary kills. They got to give credit to Conwa uh, and Bowie there. Two two sequences of where they got important kills on the map where they had teammates down. Um, that could have gone very very differently for Nobility, but big kills are what matter in big games like this. Winners finals, pulse of up 2-0 currently. Back on the offensive side of things, go Nobility. Trying to get their first map on the board. Good start there. Conway draws first blood. Yeah, they're going all in on that B site to start things off. And now this is impulsive. Trying to go for a big flank. The trophy system is going to get those nades. A lot of kills on the side of Nobility, though. Just gunning down that alleyway and securing that B zone in no time at all. Yep, you see Driz already pushed up towards the left. Going to get spotted out and taken down from Conwa from a surge. So Rispy trying to read this pressure towards B side. Doesn't know where this player is. Actually is behind him. Going to get shot at. But God Bowser there for the help. Another player in blue also taken down from Wiser. So there we go. That's a good read out of Pulsive. They clear blue. Now they are just missing Conwa towards A. They have no idea he's in laundry. Spots out one. Going to reach out that player in cafe. Gets a big two. Conwa. Choco down. That's four. They need to run to A. But you see no pressure towards A. They only have one up in the spawn. One on the site. But Conwa needs to get the work. Will it be able to get one but instantly trade it out. As now Pulsive trying to sprint towards A before that first player gets there, but Bowie could go huge. God Bowser gets one back, and now Bowie knows just to back down, play his life, wait for his teammates, does get one back, but that could have been disastrous there for Pulsive, but are able to get the important kills to relieve the pressure for now. Still have a lot of time, though. They have to play on this defense. It's a minute 30 remaining. A lot can happen there, but the kills are already dwindling down to nothing. It's 16 and 18. Just a few more on both sides, and oh no, Call of Duty, oh, why did you do this to us when it was so good? Well, not sure what happened there, but uh, we'll be uh, obviously working on a fix. I imagine that round would just be replayed. I believe so, um, yeah.
It was 1-1, one, 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 so one, one, even yeah. on both sides. I think uh, given the situation, if a player disconnected, uh, usually you just replay that round. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but for now, like, um, overall thoughts on just Game 3 right now, Nobility's performance? It's really close. Nobility has a really good chance of bringing this one back. They were already doing very well. I think they could have capped that A site. Pulse was looking a little bit shaky there. They're still doing a good job when we first left off. But... Near the end of that, I started to see some cracks there. The positioning from Nobility was looking a little bit better there. I think I think they could have taken another round. Yeah. And I think we will see them take another round. It's it's good to see the aggression coming in from the likes of Conwa as well. Um, he's been able, on both offensive rounds, get into their uh, laundry and just be super disruptive. He's played his life so, so well, and uh, that basically gives the rest of his team control of the map. They, it allows them to run up uh, the opposite sides of him, basically, and... Um, Pulls all the attention of Pulse of trying to get him out of laundry, get him out of rugs. Um, so he's doing a fantastic job of being aggressive and just being honestly straight up annoying. Um, <laughs> I I can't stand playing against uh, against that in control, especially on Invasion. It's such a big map. And when you have to go run and hunt someone down like that, uh, it gets frustrating and, and things start to boil over. But Pulse of doing an okay job so far. They do get, uh, again, the important kills on defense. Um, just stopping the ability from getting in on, on A and uh, getting more ticks as we start to work on a problem. Yep. Uh, looks like uh, Risky's PC might be having some issues, but... Uh, Possibly. Yeah. So, because it's a technical issue, we are most likely going to throw it to a quick break and then be right back in the action. Should still be 1-1. One, one. Everything should be all good. But with all that being said, everybody, we'll see you very soon after a quick break, and then we'll have more of Pulsive versus Nobility.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Nobility Rising versus Pulse of all the issues have been sorted out, but there's one issue that hasn't been sorted out. Who is going to win this series? Winners finals, Nobility down 0-2, and just uh, FYI, we are resetting at 1-1. Um, right now, Nobility in favor of, uh, with, with one tick, as Con trying to get pushed up into DVDs, like this play from him, gonna ease that pressure. All that info gonna be gained as Risky is set up in the middle of the map, and another quick B hit now for Nobility. Gonna be two ticks in as Choco gets pushed up. Con was still alive though, and Choco as well, so they might get a B cap real quick here, as you see those players uh, spawning real close to Ice Cream. Gonna be the last battle, last ditch effort for Pulsive, but they might just decide to uh, play wow. retakes. But no, the double nade comes in from God Bowser, and <laughs> they get them off the point some way, somehow. And now, just like that, Nobility on their heels. They still missing Kanwa here towards DVDs, but that was looking like a surefire B cap has now turned into a, a potential spawn trap. Yeah, this is looking like a spawn trap indeed. That trophy system not guarding that grenade is gonna be absolutely devastating. Just flipped on one big boom there. And now everyone's lying in a way they need to recollect themselves and try and make a good push here. Peace in, no one gets it on. Any side of that gunfight, he's trying to push the doorway around the corner. Doesn't get the kill, gets a wall bang though, but Kamo gets a double. Gonna open that one up for his team. Now he just needs to get rid of God Bowser back there. And that's gonna be a tough ass. Goes in with a Renetti wow. and gets it with three others along with his team. Oh, this could spell trouble. Number seven, Wisers has to stay alive for as long as possible. And he does actually get two. That could have been so disastrous if he died. Two players from Nobility were pushed up and ready to wow. die from A. Forcing those players to spawn in blue, but not gonna happen. Somehow B is not capped yet please nobility do it no way. As well drisco's huge on the point wisers follows one up he's posing he pushed up last pair alive is bowie half a tick remaining still on the point by himself trying to get on through wisers with the pinch through dark able to clear him out 14 seconds left one player left on b actually make that a as you see conwa just a full sprint towards the b site choco will finally clear this b point unless driz has something to say about it oh, sorry make that risk b Gonna clear that just a little bit more. Able to get that Ooh. kill. No! He stopped shooting, runs out of ammo. Choco finally can't get me either. A team kill comes in, finally gets secured. Oh my goodness, one of the more <laughs> hectic B pushes you'll ever see. Wow. That was absolute insanity. Just one tick away. One player on A keeping everybody alive at like 10 seconds or less. Oh my god, this game is already so good. And now. We see Conwa going up on the high ground, needs to get the jump. Pulse of in a kind of awkward spot here. Or uh, that's actually nobility in an awkward spot here. They need to make their way south down the map here. To try and get this A site, but they're gonna have to cross a big wide open area. Now Wiser's found one on the back line. One more on the back line. It's gonna be Bowie pushing in on through. Finds one, does not find two though as he falls down. Yep, they knew someone was in the back. They finally clear him out, get him off of the A point too, but the one tick on A once again for Nobility could potentially push them up to two ticks up. Right now they sit five ticks, but still an opportunity for Pulsive to get all those back or even potentially win uh, an offense. As you see, Nobility gonna go up 2-1 here in game number three as Risky gets cut down. Oh, there sorry, is. Pulsive gonna go up two to one as uh, Nobility gets cut down in the final seconds. And again, those sticks come through for Nobility. They get the job done. It took them long enough to get B, but <laughs> they did get it done. And Conwell with a good effort towards A, able to get them at least one. So they do have the tick advantage unless Pulsive come out here and uh, basically I, well, they have to cap. Uh, they, have to. they have to cap both points. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough, but Pulse of looking very, very good. This one's coming down to the wire. They are just looking so clean. They were looking a little messy last we saw them before the break, but now yep. looks like that little extra bit of time that happened gave them what they needed to be able to recollect themselves, get themselves back to where they were. Now they're blitzing all the way over onto B already, just going for a full rush, sending one over on the other side, but that's gonna be two kills on their team, maybe not looking so good after all. Yeah, good kills from Rispy, gets that player off, and it's not an interesting push from Pulsive, they just tried to send one player towards mid to disrupt as much as they could, but they couldn't get any kills uh, in their favor. See, Drizz does get one back towards mid, so now they're gonna control that. 
as Riz is going to work his way up. But the shot from Risky coming in, he's got a two early in this round, looking for that third player. But he's by himself. That second pick just about to come in. Can't get the kill. Big shots out of Rispy. Chaco comes in. Not sure if they got the tick. Uh, doesn't. Uh, looks like they were just short. So good defensive hold right there from Nobility. Yeah, great defensive hold indeed. Now Looney just going crazy there. Chaco going to get one right back though. They're one tick away over on B. Do they go for the A split push or do they just full send? It looks like a full send right now as two go down on both sides here. Pushing in on through is going to be Conwell and he wants to try and flip this site, try and prevent it from happening. But Looney is there to stop it from happening. Choco finds one, Bowie finds another, but God, Bowser just staying on top here. Yeah, not the, uh, well, he can't quite wow. capture B yet. God Bowser able to get one inside of Rugs, so he's going to pull that attention away from player number four, and that's going to allow Pulse of the Cap B. Now with a minute 40 left, lives just about even. Bowie with a huge two on mid tank, looking for that third. A big player type of guy, and he does get it too on a five streak, trying to play for that cruise missile. Pressure towards the right side of the map. It's going to be Pulse of trying to send three players down B Street. You see one lurking over towards A already. Risky, kind of alone, no pressure with him, but Risky able to get one, trying to get away with his life, not gonna happen, Wiser gets one back. Bowie, caught out, in dark, trying to win that battle, get some shots in, but loses that one, Risky with another huge gunfight win. And now, three players towards the left side, you see Lu uh, Bowser off of spawn, working mid, Choco stunned up, in freezer, gets taken out two, three go down, they have two players towards A, Pulsive need to go, they're gonna fly now, you see Kanwa, last player even remotely close from spawn, this catch up player wow. off, but no! Bowser scams his life, looks at gas unnecessarily, and potentially costs them a tick. Yeah, this is looking crazy. That was an insane shot. That was the one in a million shot they needed to land, and they landed it. And now Nobility Rising has a really good shot of stopping this one, but the kills are coming through on the side of Pulsive. They can maybe try and play for lives at this point, but Bowie keeping things even, getting a pick at least for every single one Pulsive does. Yeah, Bowie goes huge when he needed to. Perhaps a bit of an overtell there from Bowser. 2v3 now towards the point. You see player number eight, Risky trying to slide in, but no, Conwa holds strong. Wisers gets one, just needs to stay alive. Just a few more seconds, gets one back. Looking for that final player on the point. Wisers loses that one, big win from Conwa. The streak gets used, but no players even remotely around the point. Not sure why Pulse have decided to use that streak with one round left to go. Yeah, exactly. One round left using this streak, maybe to try and open things up, but no one was nearby to make good use of the ground it covered. And now it's all even on the scoreboard. Now it's all up to Ability Rising to try and keep themselves in this. They need to win this game if they don't want to lose this series right here, right now. Pulsive just one point away from taking the 3 0. Yeah, so it's going to be Kanwa and Co. on defense. As you see, these players getting set, ready to play the final round here, round five of game three. Pulsive trying to close out the series. And yeah. uh, we may be having a reset here, just a reset streaks and whatnot for round five. Yeah, this is looking absolutely insane. Two to two. I don't know who's going to win this. If you had to guess, who would you guess, Aaron? I'm not a big man of predictions. Nobility have looked strong, though, so... Uh, they set themselves up for a good opportunity here. They're going to be on defense. They get they give themselves uh, the best chance to win with those extra ticks on A. Uh, thanks to the likes of Conwa specifically in uh, that round number four. So they look they look better. They certainly look better they than do. the first two maps. And I I think the uh, reset um, did help them out uh, quite a bit actually. They they had an opportunity to talk things over. Um, just mentally reset as well. So uh, nobility in a strong position to get their first win on the board here in the series. Yeah, things are looking very intense, and I don't know how it would be feeling with Pulsive. You started off so strong. You got uh, a, a good win in the first game, relatively strong win. Second game, very strong win. And now this third game, the one that's holding you away from that win is struggling here. You know, it's not a clean win. It's very down to the wire. Nobility is sticking it out. Maybe even having a comeback, you know, getting the momentum swing in their way. And it feels like the momentum is starting to leave Pulsive. Yeah, I mean, they they, they had a lot of opportunities, um, but they just couldn't quite get the kills fast enough. It, it felt like uh, when Bowie stayed alive on Firecard there, they, they had two players down already and they had a 2v1 on Bowie. 
both within close vicinity of each other, uh, and they couldn't quite get the kill in time. And, and with that, like, Conwa came off his of spawn, Choco followed him up off his of spawn, and they, they were easily able to get to, to the A side. So um, Pulse of not taking advantage of their lives down. A very familiar story for a lot of teams playing Call of Duty uh, competitively. So um, you got to look for Pulse of to take advantage of their numbers here on the offensive side. Obviously not the ideal side, but um, you need to... Uh, you need to read the pressures, and once you get two, three dead, start moving up the map. Exactly. You've got to start making that death march up to those points. But now, it's all on the line. Things are about to get crazy. We're right about to get back into game for our final, potentially final round of the series of Nobility versus Pulsive. I am so excited to see it. I want to see... I want to see Nobility make a comeback here. That would be a really good story. They had a very strong story, previous game in the series. You want to see the reverse sweep happen. It's always a joy to see. But, you know, if I was Pulsive, you really want to win this one. You played so well the first two games, you don't want it to slip through your fingers right here at the end. Yeah, and you, you, you ideally don't want to give a team like this momentum uh, as a Nobility, a team that carries momentum. Even with a win, one win on the board, 2-1, 3-1, doesn't matter. Right now, good start for them. First blood drawn their way, looking for a third. There's a three. So good defensive hold right now, four dead. Pulsive already on their heels. Yeah, hot on their heels here, but someone else is already on the flank. That's Choco and Bowie, and look at that. Nobility already just cutting through the ranks of Pulsive. Yeah, the Pulsive can read this. If they get this player towards mid, they can start working A fast. They know players push up on that B tank. Look for another. That's going to be God Bowser taking down Bowie in mid. So now they can start working towards mid and the A side. And Nobility is going to start to read this. You see Bowie coming off a of spawn, working towards Firecard. Choco lose that gunfight. Bowie does trade him out. Not expecting that second player though. So God Bowser can actually just run straight to the time. They, again, they got to play the numbers. They got to read these things. But instead, they elect to focus all their efforts towards B. So. No, honestly, not a bad move from Pulsive. They, they send two players on the pinch, get that player off a of B tank, and now they can get B. And already, it may look like Nobility might chalk this one up. But no one so far has won that A site over with progress. It's just too hard to cap. So if I like capping this B so early, it's really tough, especially when you only have 30 seconds left. You feel desperate, you need that extra wow. time. And they're gonna go for it. Conway already going for it as well. It kills God Bowser. They're gonna move in through here, but RSP gonna get him. Yeah, this is gonna be a B cap right now for Pulsive. Two players already pushed up. You see Risky playing very, very slow. Might have heard that player under him. Not yet, but he does spot one out. Yeah, he did hear him. So he's trying to seek him out. Gets the call up, but Conway there for support. Bowser on the outside will drop as well. So now it's going to be a reset for Pulsive. They're only going to have about two hits at this. Lives insignificant at this point in time as just over a minute remain. They're going to have to play this one slowly. And they, like I said, they got about two chances to try to cap A. Yep, two chances, but those chances are slipping thinner and thinner as things are just looking like a big gunfight here in mid. Well, it might as well be team deathmatch at this point. It's falling back and forth, left and right. There's gunfights oh, that's everywhere. Big. That's a big opener. That's a massive opener there for God Bowser. Only one left. That's going to be Conwa holding strong. Last man standing. We see it again, but one slip through. He can't kill them all as RSP gets him down. Now the setup on the site. 41 seconds are stopped and clocked, and this is going to be where the real battle begins. Yeah, Choco Go. slides in, gets one. Wiser trades him back out. Stays alive, looking for that final Doesn't player. It. But it's going to be risky with the Renetti to clean him up. Last chance now. 35 seconds left. Pulsive still working that B street side of the map. Bowser seeking out one. Rispy gets one back, so two drop again. These players should start to spawn deep gas, and yes, they do. God Bowser reads it. Going to get spotted out, called out as well. Get, tries to get one at the back, tags him up, can't finish the kill though. Looking for that second player, all surrounded around him. God Bowser gets one. They're going to hop on the A point. Bowser looking for this final player, Black Blue. Conwa goes no. huge on time and clears him out. 14 seconds left to go. Nobody around. Nobility rising. Gonna take game three. Wow, what a comeback from Nobility rising, rising to the occasion and making sure they stay alive. Riding the winds of momentum like the bird logo they have. What an amazing game. Great comeback win there for Nobility. 
They held strong. Again, it was all about huge plays. We talked about that in the last series too. Nobility relied on those huge plays. And uh, currently it's, it carried them through game three as well. But you gotta think heading into this hard point, Pulse have gotta still be the favorites with how they've played together as a team. Their biggest problem here in game three was not reading, I, again, we just talked about it, not reading uh, their live advantage on different sides of the map. Just, uh, you know, not taking advantage of getting two or three down and progressing over towards the A site or progressing over towards the B site. So uh, that's something that they're going to have to talk about after this series. But again, they, they still played well as a team, and I think they gave themselves an opportunity to win. Uh, they just couldn't take advantage. Yeah, it's like uh, their tactical uh, chip was a little bit fried there near the end. They were just running on winning those gunfights time and time again, but they were just unable to keep that up because nobility eventually got up to par with their gunfights positioning everything else and then nobility started to bring in those crazy plays those crazy gamuts and then they had those hero plays like choco i think behind that truck near the end of that match got three of them down if all four of them got in on that a site totally different story but the fact that he picked off i think two or three of that yeah. big push there was absolutely game changing i mean god bowser trying to do anything he can to Get those players coming off a of spawn, able to get one, even a second, but uh, I don't know, just no support around him and uh, unable to stay alive for long enough. And again, Pulse have had the opportunity. They had a player on the point. They had two two players pushed up into rugs and laundry. Uh, just uh, just couldn't uh, get the clutch kills, and Nobility was a team to do exactly that. So yeah. going into map number four, that'll be coming up shortly. It's going to be a Karachi hardpoint. Um, so this one should be a doozy. I know it's a favorite uh, for the side of Nobility. So we'll see how they elect to, uh, to approach this game four. Obviously still down 2-1 here in the winner's finals. Don't go anywhere. Game four coming up next.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to TXP3 here in the winners' finals. And this is looking to be our first game four we're casting here on stream. Yep, game four, nobility down 2 1, 2 0 in the series as well, but able to get one back there on invasion control. Very, very nice, clean team win for them. Again, big kills going in their favor, allows them to force a game four and keep their series hopes alive. Uh, in in hopes of reaching the grand finals here uh, in the winners finals here at Toronto XP at St. Clair Nexus. Here we go. Karachi hard point just about underway. Hard point. Now last we saw hard point nobility rising had a really tough loss there. Pulse have really got ahead of them eventually in the game controlled the entire map but now ability has been made stronger in the fires of the crucible. Let's see how they do. Mursky trying to work top side of the map. First two kills going in favor of Pulse of Good team shots there. He's going to have help from Choco from the bridge side. However, it's still going to be Pulsive inside the point. Going to be contested for the time being. Choco up top, able to grab one. Spots one out, going to stay alive. No, got Bowser. Good shots from him. Going to open up the bridge side of the map. You see two players sending pressure down the middle. Risky, alone off point, able to get one. Stays alive, looking for that second player. He does have a little bit of help, but 15 seconds left. You see Pulsive already in control of P2, but good time here for Nobility. Good time for Nobility indeed. They are now in the lead, got the scrap time, but they're not really in position to take this next one. It's gonna be really hard to breach that next hard point. Yeah, very slow approach right now for Nobility, trying to spot out any of these players. That's a good kill on the Drizz. So now they have top fire control, can go low, can go high, won't matter. It's a good job out of, got Bowser to stay alive at the point. He's got sub in hand, but good break now. Three go down, one player up. That's Bowser, he drops, so four dead. Good break from Nobility. They don't have spawn control, but they do have the hill control for now. And all of the info, Bowie's gonna call that player out. Rispy, first one to drop, second one to drop two. Wisers with the SMG in hand, just needs to stay alive. Wait for Driz to try to work that pinch towards the backside of the point. He's just gonna contest for now, so this is not worst case scenario for Pulsive. Seeking out this final player, Choco, trades one back out from top fire. Gonna jump in, try to work the backside of the map. Not sure if Pulsive are gonna expect this. Here comes Choco. Gonna creak open the door, here he oh, is, but pre-fire, yeah, the weapon swap shuts him down, and the rotation now for P3 ensues. Yeah, this is not looking great for Pulsa, but it's looking really good for Nobility Rising. They're gonna get a lot of points off that one, but Pulsa, just one point away, this is looking to be a very, very close match. Yeah, they don't know Bowser's in the back, but actually, a nice uh, car bomb gonna take down God Bowser, so that's a, that'll eliminate the potential for a spawn flip, but trades back and forth again, Enough to take down three pulse of players and nobility in control yet again trying to build on this lead here in the third point. By the zone of killing spree though, and they're looking pretty good. They just need to play a little bit more towards this objective here as nobility rising is stretching further and further in the lead. Let's see, good angle here, needs to find a kill. Can he get the Wisers down? They do, three kills on the side of Nobility Rising, one left, Wisers goes down. Conwell gonna pick up another as well. It's not looking great for Pulsive. They can't get their foot in the door. Can't get their foot in the door indeed. They are set up for new yet and again. But as we saw for P2, wow, Risky was a huge two. But I was gonna say, as we saw for P2, they were able to break quite easily. Risky runs out of bullets, otherwise he probably would have had a third. That nade in the back might tag him up, and he gets the job done. So again, nobility break the point. And Risky just trying to stay alive. Wiser's can test time, knows there's a player behind him. Gotta stay up. Well, I don't know what he's challenging there, but Driz will get the trade finally. But again, nobility in control of this P4. In complete control. Up top though, Choco gonna have to jump down, can't stay on the high ground too long. Bowie and Kanwa just absolutely shredding through the team. Now, Nobility Rising has over double the points of Pulsive. Pulsive just kind of slipping away here. Choco with a big kill. Just good scrap time for Pulsive if they can get it. Yes. See Nobility already set up for new. That's gonna be Bowie in the back, playing for those wow, spawners. Risky. Risky, again, having a good map. He struggled a lot this series. Every map he hasn't really been, uh, or haven't, hasn't made a significant impact. You see Choco gonna read those spawns. Kanwa as well, just gonna play these crosses. He's gonna give it up. Try to focus towards the left side of the map. And you see all spread out is nobility to try to pick these players off of rotations. But now there goes top third in control of Pulsive. And now they can start to work the back. Is It's gonna be Risky and, and Choco off of spawn. Spawn, here it is. Wiser is gonna be the one to lead the charge. 
Rispy gonna combine one in the back through Nettie, but it's gonna be shut down right away by Choco. Actually, Rispy just going wild there with Bowie, just keeping everybody at bay up here, up on top of the hill. And now, this is gonna be a lot of objective time going the way of Nobility. They're almost 100 points ahead of Pulsive already. 100 points almost. Bowie trying to get that extra time. 20 seconds left again. If you're Pulsive, you just want to get any sort of scrap. Spawning on the opposite side, though, they will get a bit of that scrap time at the very least. But spawning on the opposite side, they will be closer to P1, so they will have a little bit more control of mid-map. But ideally, you want that top third section to be yours. Driz with a huge kill on new. Looney going to follow that one up as well. One player top third, one cut down, be cut. Good shots from Driz as he's just going to stay alive. Bowie going to hop in point. Doesn't really have a lot of support around him. Finally does. Is everybody else off spawn? No ability continuing to build on this lead as we head into the second roto. Heading into the second rotation here and now. Let's see. The ability in a really good spot here. No one really able to flush him out. A lot of gunshots up top of the last suppressive fire as well. Choco doing the Guardian's work here. Keeping everybody at bay, but Rispy and Wiser managed to slip through the point. Now he falls down. This is the time for Pulsive to get a big chunk of time. Yeah, it's a big time here. Uh, they already are set up for new. Nobility trying to work bridge side of the map. One player drops, so that's going to make their jobs that much harder. Bowie does open one up, so they're going to try to work to be cut. But you see player number seven. It's going to be Wiser's in the back to hold them at bay. Driz able to get one. No, Risky shuts him down, but an instant trade out. Again, they hold scrap time. They hold spawns. They hold new objective. This is all looking very good for Pulsive to get a lot of time here. Very, very good. They got a decent chunk of time. They're still at least like one hard point away, one full hard point away. Be able to tie up with Nobility. Still have a lot of time left in the match, though. They could definitely turn this one around. They're in control to start things off and doing a good job at holding it for now. Nobility struggling to find a good angle of approach here, trying to find an off angle to start things off. Good syntax, but doesn't quite find its mark. He manages to get out, going to jump in through the window and continue the chase. But Drez and Looney, a little bit of a team kill once again with those grenades. Yeah, not worst case scenario for Pulsive. They're going to have the spawners basically meet up uh, at the point. And you see player number seven trying to get out. Wise is going to get shut down on rotation. But again, Really, really good time for Pulsive. They were able to get 70 points from P1 uh, all the way into P2. They won't have rotations. However, they find themselves back in this game, now only down seven points as we move towards the junkyard side of the map. Bowie in a good spot, gonna get spotted out. Shot at, but not finished off. As now Choco gonna sit on the point, collect the time for nobility as Pulsive decide how they wanna break this. Beautiful two points from Pulsive, but now it's gonna swing back the way of nobility as they are holding this one down like warriors. Not gonna go down without a fight. They are watching every angle, winning every gunfight, and their spawns are just that much closer and that much more convenient. I mean, Conwa just going wild here. Nobility getting a good significant lead here of a few points, especially with how close this game is going. Every point matters. Choco getting the double. Things are just absolutely insane. Yeah, big kills from Choco and Conwa again. The two rocks for this team doing exactly what they are meant to do. But got Bowser and Co. with a good break. Able to get through the left side of Junkyard to get the important kills. And they, they won't get that scrap time, actually. So now they're going to spawn out all the way towards P2. They don't really have uh, any pressure towards P4. So now they, they have a lot more work to do. And they don't get the scrap time. So good Final couple kills there as Conwa's gonna spot one out. Risky gets two more with that AR. And it looks like they moved him to that AR role for this map as well, allowing uh, uh, Choco and Conwa to do the same. Sorry, Conwa and Bowie as well. You see them switching back and forth. Bit of a three, R, three AR meta on this map so far, working out for Nobility. 50 point lead, trying to get a little bit more. Just a little bit more to cross the finish line, bring this to a game of five, but now, Pulsive is still not going down without a fight. They don't want to be that close. Choco getting a double after double after double. It does not even matter at this point. As soon as I see his name, I know there's going to be two more on, along the way. Bowie going to go down. Bob Bowser going to get one. Bowie getting another as well. Just in absolute, utter control of this hard point. And now they're just going to probably play for next. Give him the scrap time because it doesn't even matter at this point. Wow, Bowie, you can hear him through the broadcast booth getting loud because those are two big kills on the rotation and you see how far now Pulsive are spawning all the way out across the map. Early control now for Nobility. Rispy just needed to stay alive but throws away a life. They're trying to win the, 
the back spawns here. It's going to be God Bowser picking off that player, so that opens up the right side of the map. Now Bowie needs to turn his attention the other way, trying to slide on through as Rispy. Going to get cut down as well. Bowie still in the back, needs to win this battle. He does too. 230 or 225 to 153 is the current scoreline, and this might be game. But Wiser's text one up, looking for that third, but Choco will clean him up. And with how far they're spawning, two more kills might seal the game. Two more kills would definitely seal the game. They need to contest this, but they can't play these risky plays. They don't have many more chances here. And now with a team wipe, that's going to be it. No one's here to contest, and that is going to be Nobility rising, most likely taking this one, bringing this one to two to two. Risky goes in, can't quite get on the point, and that is definitively it. That is Nobility rising, bring this one back from a down 2-0 to 2-2. To two. Yeah, and you see the core three doing their thing, but we got to talk about Risky, or yes, Risky, um, again, doing his thing. Uh, he struggled so far this series, but he's been able to bounce back in this game four, and he was a big reason why they ended up winning that map as well. So we're going to a game five. Here are the winners' finals. These two teams want it bad, but right now, Nobility wanting it a little bit more as they've evened up the series after falling down 0 2 early on. Game five, we're going to be moving towards a six star. S and D, anything can happen on that map. <laughs> anything can happen. And I got to say, Nobility is one of the most momentum-based teams I've seen today. Now that they have the swing going, the comeback potential, they just need a little bit of hope, like getting a few points in that first map, and then they took it all the way to here, bringing back two maps in a row. Yeah, I mean, they, they were able to... Uh, to secure at least the game two victory on S and D. So Pulsive, you know, you gotta have a little bit of confidence in search and destroy, and that's that's their uh, that's their main game mode for sure. At least this foursome. So uh, they're gonna be pretty comfortable, I would imagine, on this map. And they did take down Saint Clair at the beginning of this tournament on this very map and this game mode. So uh, you gotta think they're pretty confident. Obviously, with no smokes, um, things are gonna play out a little bit differently. But a very aggressive team. They take it advantage of the open space that you give them. So if you're no ability, you just got to hold strong, hold your pre-aims, and uh, hope well, plain and simple, win some gunfights. Exactly. It's going to be anything but simple. Once we get back with the game five, we will throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with more COD. And it was a very quick break indeed. We're moving at a breakneck speed going into this game five of Pulsive versus Nobility Rising on S and D. Game five winners finals, here we go. Nobility trying to complete the reverse sweep. Pulsive trying to hang on for dear life and fantastic. Wisers draws first blood here in game five. Winner moves on to the grand finals. Loser drops down to the loser's bracket. Not dead yet. But yeah, ideally, you want to get into the grand finals, have lunch, have a snack, wait around a bit for your next opponent, who will be the victor here in game number five. Good start for Wiser. He gets a second on the board, but Choco answers back with one. 2v3 disadvantage, but still bomb down. That player staying alive. That's allow allowing Bowser to get one. Looking for that second, and he gets it wow. too. Great two pieces from Wiser and Bowser to secure the round. Impulsive looking comfortable as ever on search and destroy yet again. Yeah, Impulsive looking very, very good right now. Starting things off, starting things off very hot. An amazing first round for them. Now going forward, it's up to it's up to Nobility Rising to try and keep pace here, try and win another round right back. Because we saw what happened in that last S&D match. Pulsive just started to run away with it after they got an early two-round lead on Nobility Rising. Yeah, I mean, that all started with Driz on the pool side, literally just getting some shots in, staying alive. And that just let God Bowser push all the way up uh, the glass steps. 
pick up two kills to secure the round. So good job out of Driz and company. It's just so good at playing their lives. And that's what good players do. And this team right now looking good here in the search. Bomb is going to get planted here. It's going to be a 4v4 towards the site. Risky draws first blood. Bowser getting pushed up. Drews has help over the top. Akonoma turns and burns. Wiser trades him out. 2v2 and now on point. Up to Wiser's. Has three in a row. Looking for four. He gets it. 1v1 situation. 30 seconds left to go here in round number two. Has to get the kill and the bomb defusal. He's going to start to work the middle of the map. You see him pop dead. He's going to get a gun. He's ready to get it. He it. Wiser's with five in a he row. Go. <laughs> going to get Get the defuse as well going absolutely massive when they needed him to second round straight for pulsive and wisers with a beautiful 1v2 and an ace i don't even know if wisers expected to win that he got the gunfight and then paused for a second like oh yeah. my gosh can't believe that happened yeah. <laughs> i already I, I think i already know what happened he got that kill screamed at them for yeah. half a second <laughs> sat back down and was like oh crap i gotta i gotta go defuse guys Bomb has like second. 20 more seconds left yeah <laughs> <laughs> not a not a not an ace for Wisers, but darn near close. That's a 3K for him, and you see him with. I gotta say, the worst posture at this event is Wisers. <laughs> um, not not great. Uh, but not great. Not damn, great. Does he's he shoot full straight. tilt? Yes, <laughs> man. Does he shoot straight? So, if it's working, it's working, and right now it's working for Pulsive. It's working. I mean, look at that. God Bowser finding the first pick goes answered right back by Risky though. Gonna be playing around this bar. Risky getting another, but Riser able to That's answer it there. It's a streak. Oh yeah, you're right. He's on a six streak right now. He didn't die last match. That's insane. And now on the prowl here, Kanwa needs to find a pick. Wants to put his team in the driver's seat. Catches one off guard. That's bombed down as well. Don't know if he noticed that. Now Wiser's gonna have to try and clutch this one up once again. 1v2, once more for him. We'll see how he likes to play this. Does not have dead silence in hand, so his feet are going to be a little bit loud. And you see the high-low set up right now from Bowie and Kanwa. Just playing very, very slow. They don't necessarily know that Bomb is down, so Wiser's just trying to clear what he can over on A. But 28 seconds left to go. He's going to have to start to work fast as he starts to push his way in through you. Kanwa might have heard him, so he's going to start to take out that player. Does not the second really player is there. Spot. Yeah, they, they're oh, but just... it's not in your bomb, though. They're standing so still. They're finally going to separate, but Wiser's cut out from behind looking for that second, that first blood, but no, not going to happen. So, nobility answer back. Wiser gets cut down for the first time this map. Yeah, able to keep a really good pace here, keeping themselves in this. Great start to that match. Got a few double kills in there, I believe, as well, on the side of nobility rallying. So, that should have swung their way, and it did. And now we're 1-1. One, one. Pulsive now has to answer once again to nobility rising. And the interesting thing about S&D is usually no one really gets an edge on the other, especially when these teams are that close. Yeah, again, if, if we're talking about high high level skill gap, um, it just anything can really happen in these search. It's it's so much about momentum in S and D, specifically in Modern Warfare 3. Right now, Pulsive riding the wave, but Nobility looking to build on it. However, Rispy gonna get first blood. That's gonna be risky. Getting cut down by Rispy. As Conwa is seeking out one, he may be able to get two, but wow. no! Rispy turns around just in time. Bowie trades one out, but he's left alone in a 1v4. Now a 1v3. But wow, Rispy reads that so, so well. Gets a second of the round. Impulsive halfway to victory and halfway to punching their ticket to the grand finals here at TXP. Yeah, that was an absolutely amazing start to everything here. Jeez, I cannot believe that he did not get the kill. He got yeah. the jump on them from behind, but he just 360 to, or 180 to round yeah, and caught the kill. Insane. Great read by Rispy. I mean, I'd, like, again, we both thought that they were both running the opposite way. Yeah. I guess Rispy realized that that was the case and they didn't want to get pinched. And he was able to pick him up, turn around, and get the kill. So that was absolutely a huge round for, out of Rispy. I know it's a big lead for Pulse if you're 3-1. Ability Rising needs to answer. needs to answer quick. Got to run through the pools. Go for a little swim. It's a long-range kill, though. Now, Choco, it's going to be good for Nobility. That's going to be really good for Nobility. Bomb down, two down. They can try and secure this one. Luna gets one. It gets shut down. It's a 1v3 for Pulse. Right now, Wisers has a lot to answer for. Yeah, Wisers might be able to catch one. He does. 1v3, now down to a 1v2. He does have a lot of time, but... He's just expecting these players to kind of run at him, but from what we saw in the round previous that Nobility actually won, these players play very stagnant in these types of situations. See Choco laying down, watching for the full pinch. Risky just playing over top, looking for any sort of information towards the B Street side. 
And I gotta think that Wise is gonna get caught out here unless he preems it. Yep, spotted out and taken down. So nobility, answer back again. Still find themselves down around, but a good a good round nonetheless. Yeah, good round nonetheless. And they could very well take this one e to even going into the next, but very, very good round from Nobility Rising. Getting the double kill on the bomb carrier as well. Team was absolutely separated there. Great play. Great play indeed. Pulsive have been able to answer both times Nobility's put around on the board. Can they do it again? They will now be back on defense. Again, the favorite side here in Search and Destroy. I've been seeing a lot more attacking, though, on this map almost go their way lately with how good these teams are and how aggressive they are. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we, we've, we've certainly seen it gone completely on its head uh, with the offensive round wins, but so far, defense is storyline here with the one offensive win for Pulsive. Trying to build on that second. You see how aggressive they are. Choco spotted out. Any trades coming in? Yep, there's Bowie with one. Super, super one-shot, though, so he just needs to stay down. So it's a one-for-one one trade. Three go down, but Driz gets caught out by Bowie. You still see that player playing close, and you see Weiser's just going to retreat. Got Bowser by himself on time, and good shots from Bowie again. Going off these last two maps, five kills already for him, and now another 1v3. It's going to be Bowser this time to try to clutch up. It's not going to be good enough there. Can't clutch that one from the brink, and now it's dead even. They are doing an amazing job. They have a lot of momentum going here, winning two rounds in a row, evening this one up. Impulsive, gonna have to try and guarantee this next round for themselves. Yep, you see, you said it. Momentum, so, so huge. Nobility with two straight now. And uh, Impulsive, still calm, still look very composed as usual. See how they elect to approach this offense. Haven't had a lot of had a lot of success towards B, we'll say, if they decide to go away, and it looks like that's going to be the case. See how deep Driz is going to play this back spawner. Doesn't necessarily need to play that far off the rip, but expecting a quick pinch perhaps from Nobility. It's not going to come through just yet. Oh, and he's actually going to call in a streak. I did not realize. Oh, I forgot. Wow. I forgot about Wise's oh, streak. He does kill. get a team kill though. It does open up the A side a little bit. Risky gets tagged up and shot down. So, regardless of the team kill. What? Oh my wow. god. Oh my god. Rival nine? <laughs> god Bowser absolutely ripped. <laughs> absolutely what ripped Conwa in the that? back. Wow. <laughs> 1v3 now for Bowie to try to clutch up. That was absolutely insane. And yeah, wow. Insane laser beam from God Bowser there. Holy smokes. You see him laughing. He knows exactly what he did. <laughs> that was a child that he should not have taken. But he, he did exactly that. that and just absolutely smoked him post-plant. <laughs> so, wow. Big win out of Pulse. Of good answer from them. They retake their lead here in game five. They want this grand finals bad. Nobility wants it bad. And man, we're going down to the wire. We are going down to the wire here. It's very back and forth, pretty much dead even. And geez, I don't know how this one's going to shape up. Pulsive, though, on a bit of a hot streak right now. That round was absolutely massive for them. So I would be surprised if they somehow take this one as well. <coughs> Ability rising needs to lock in right here. It's do or die for them almost. They're going to go over to that B site and get the plant started and loaded. Yep. You see how heavy Pulsive decide to play towards mid and the right side of the map. It's going to be interesting to see how they re retake it. They were able to do it once. Nobility with a very strong setup here. You see Conwa set up on the steps. You got two players deep in the back waiting for that pinch. But nothing coming as of yet. No one actually pushed up. Conwa's going to get caught out though. No one covering him uh, from the back. God Bowser gets one. Rispy actually gets both. Now, Bowser can just play these rotation players coming in from the back. Gonna stun one up. Gets that info on one. But Bowie able oh. to get two back for himself. But the defuse went through. Yeah, the, the, I sorry. I apologize. I didn't even notice the, the defuse. Ninja defuse in. for the casters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did not expect that one, but makes a lot of sense. He had a 4v2. You send three players towards the front, one just hops bomb. Um, so, excellent retake. You see Rispy hop the bomb there after that kill. So, a good pulse of win. Now, one round away from clinching their spot in the grand finals and sending probably the favorites here down to the loser bracket. Exactly, they are looking so good. They don't want their dream to die here. They already brought it here to a potential reverse sweep. Just a few more rounds stand between them and victory. Qualifying for the grand finals. They want to get this and they want to get this fast going for the pool jump once again, but there's two sentry turrets waiting for him if he chooses to peek this one out. God, Bowser in a really cheeky spot here. 
Cheeky spot in D. This could be huge. Driz draws first blood, so it won't even matter. Well, Bowser. He's got the chase on them now. Yeah, Bowser. Oh, Bowser. He can hit this fast. Two players pushing all the way. Th all three players deep oh, around. No. Bowser has an opportunity to do something crazy here. No, Guess what? Gets oh. no he doesn't even get two. Does <laughs> die. Risky gets a pick on the site. So now, instead of basically a 3v1, we're into a 2v2. Bomb is planted though, so still advantage Pulsive. Brisby got some shots in, but he does get picked off. Bowie going huge once again. Ninth kill. Drills, Driz trying to stay alive. Can't get even one. Risky picks him up. And well, wow. we're going to a round 10. <laughs> <laughs> that could have very easily been game for that, Pulsive. That was down to the wire. That was just an act of God at that yeah. point that they had the reaction time, the bullet spread wow. just went their way. Insane. God Bowser had the flank of all flanks right there and it just didn't work out for him. And they just played it perfectly from then on out. And I think that sent Pulsive in a bit of disarray because they're all like, oh yeah, he's got this. This is going to be great. Easy, yeah. I can relax a little bit. But no. They had that one on lock. But they're still on match point here. And Nobility has one more left in the tank to try and even this one out, so it's still looking very good for them. Yeah, Nobility have to cook something up here. Bowie gets that info, gets full stun, but you see Bowser just gonna, or Wiser's just gonna back up, play his life. But complete control of you right now in the favor of Nobility, and that's good. You can really dictate where you want to go from here. Just a little bit of a stalemate here in round number 10. Bowie getting some shots in, nothing gonna connect so far. Connect. Ooh. Rusby gonna get one. That's gonna be a big pick. Wow. And now they need to answer. Rusby getting two, actually. Risky AD gonna get one, but Rusby getting three. Only one is left. It's Choco in a 1v3 situation. And no bomb in control either. This is disastrous. 40 seconds left on the clock. Choco needs to clutch this one up for his team. It's do or die. Pulse of looking like the favorites here to get the grand finals qualification. Yeah, there's the info coming in. Sox coming in. Nothing connecting, but it won't matter. You see those two players coming from the middle of the map. It's gonna be wise and Rispy just trying to stay alive as Driz. Choco working the outside. We see him work matching in game two. Can he do it here? No. Pulsive take the map. Pulsive take the game and the series. And they will be moving on to your grand finals here at Toronto XP with Nobility Rising dropping to the losers finals, awaiting their opponent. But man, what a series. What an effort from Nobility to force the game five, bring it all the way to a round 10. Very typical out of them. You got to think if they come out of the gate a little bit quicker in this series, that's that's one they would want to have back. Exactly, yeah. They just had a little bit of a cold start. They got going there halfway through the series, but they just couldn't close it out in the end. Impulsive. You know, that must have been scary for them as well. Almost at the reverse sweep situation down to the wire, but they still had it in them to bring it all the way to the end. Yeah, uh, again, <laughs> Pulsive, you, you want to you wanna talk to each other, guys. Like, yep. let's, let's not make this that much harder on ourselves. It's, uh, you know, we had them yeah, we in had a chokehold, right? <laughs> um, yeah, but, I mean, nonetheless, you close it out. It's those clutch kills. It was the, it was the factor all series long. Yeah. Um, big reason why Nobility won game three. Big reason why they won game four. Uh, and, and Pulsive able to do exactly that in game five when it matters most. So they do punch their ticket to the grand finals. Um, look, looking like the favorite right now, to be honest. They look very, very good as very they strong. have. Those, I believe those were their first two maps lost uh, for the uh, entire weekend. So uh, Nobility able to take a couple off them. But it's going to be Pulsive moving on to the Grand Finals here at Toronto XP. And, well, we got more matches coming your way. We got the loser semifinals. It's going to be St. Clair going up against Penn J all day in a battle for the top three. Don't go anywhere.